Your advice is safe for you to love. And your final outcome for the month is let your friends help you. Bottom of the deck and what is unknown to you is reconciliation. Clarified with wedding and keep an open mind. So someone is returning from your past life that um, the two of you have been on your own separate paths of healing. So this could be a, a twin flame or a soulmate coming back into your life. Um, I am going to pull clarifiers here. So let me do that quick. I hope you can see that. Is that better? Well, it's going to have to do for now. So, okay. So, why is religious factors here for Sagittarius? That was awfully quick. Hmm. The devil and the king of cups. Or knight of cups, I'm sorry. So, if you um, are coming to me from the YouTube side of things, um, you were defeating that devil in the outcome. That was your karmic lesson you were needing to complete. That was the part of the path you were on. Um, you have or you will be in October breaking that toxic cycle. And when you do, when you stand up for yourself, when you set your boundaries and let this person know that they cannot keep walking all over you, um, when you stop those cycles from going round and round and round, um, that is when that love offer is going to come in for you, um, Sagittarius. Why is children here in our current energy? All right. So... Healing the inner, okay, so this isn't always children right now. Um, part of your uh, path also is healing that inner child. Um, and that's what the Six of Swords is all about too. Bringing the baggage of the past, of your past lives, um, your childhood of this life. It is all about moving forward and allowing that inner child to heal by following your intuition and allowing the universe to guide you where you need to go is going to bring you that healing. So that's what you're currently working on after defeating that toxic cycle in the past. Why is engagement here? You are working on that healing, that inner child, I feel. And I feel it very strong. Um, wow. And it's going to bring in a lot of change for you. By you doing that, by you stepping into the right path and healing that inner child, allowing the universe to guide you to healing, it is going to bring in a change in your love life. It is going to bring that person back that either from this past life or um, from your past. But um, it is definitely bringing somebody back into your life. Um, and it looks like things are going to move into a more stable uh, connection. In the hidden, let's get who's coming in for Sagittarius in October 2018. Whoa. Let's try this again. First card, you, Sagittarius. Second card, uh, the other person. And I will do that until my guides tell me that uh, that is it. So, third card will be outcome. First card, Sagittarius. The moon. Second card, the person coming in. This will be, this person will be coming in between now and October 13th. Um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody that um, there were secrets in the past. Um, things were not fully illuminated to one or both of you. Um, the cycle has come to a completion. Uh, there was some, uh, try the two of you are going to try to work it out. You're going to try to balance this connection out. You're putting the past behind you, though this person may still be holding on to a little bit. Um of like heartache you also could be dealing with a cancer and you're the one that is very defensive about this connection not sure if you want to give this person a chance um this person is a soulmate that does have that unconditional love allow the change allow this person to come in for the majority of you it's a positive connection it's not going to be a juggling act between people it's going to be trying to figure out what we can do to come together all right, the next person coming in for Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. The Knight of Wands, another Sagittarius, or this is you.